this is JB right on the coast. I've been sent home from work. It was just too rough, too dangerous out in the van. Um, so I've just popped down onto the seafront to give you an idea what it's like living on the coast during such storms. Um, a lot of the shingle from the beach is up on the prom here now. They've closed the seafront road a little bit further along because the shingle and our beach has got quite big stones the size of your fist sort of thing. I'll, I'll Wash it up onto the road, it's very dangerous for cars, so they have to do, do something about that. <laughs> but uh, it's getting towards high tide now, it's getting interesting. I'll move you out to show you what's going on out there, but of course, the sound <laughs> you're not going to hear much. You see all the shingle. And the uh, <laughs> the waves are getting quite interesting. Oh, can't stay here long. I'm going to get wet feet. <laughs> Bloody hell! Let me move along a bit. I'm paddling. quality of me because there's probably wet all over the legs. It's running a constant 75 miles an hour and the waves are pretty big. You should be able to see the pier through there <laughs> but you can't it's hidden in the spray somewhere. And the waves are coming up on the prom. I think I'd better move along a little bit. I'm heading back indoors. Not that that's much better because we have no power, no heating, uh, no internet, not even mobile phone signal at the moment. It's, uh, <laughs> it's getting quite interesting out there. Um, I don't know if you can see, I'm soaked. Uh, it's actually a beautiful sunny day well, and that's all the amount of sea spray. Along, all the way along the seafront, it, it's like fog. Does that much get blown about? Oh, interesting day though. <laughs> Keep safe, guys.